me red stool. The treatment did give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just morning, anus. Just touch my cheek before you. Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Huh, sounds kind of pointless. Oh, you mean like your feet? <laughs> <laughs> this is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. I do feel I know you a bit. You do feel you know me a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that's 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 fair. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo with your partner. I'm guessing, or is he your husband? At a quick glance, I'd say there's roughly a 26-year age difference between the two of you. Taking into consideration the math, he was probably born at a time when the most popular name was Michael. I see a prescription for heart medication on that table. My guess is you keep that at the office. You don't want to worry, Michael, you say to yourself, even though the truth is it embarrasses you. And your office is your haven, since Michael doesn't work and is often at home, perhaps as a result of a low-level depression that you don't really want to get into with him. You seem like a very lonely little boy. Oh, my God, I am! I'm so lonely! <laughs> Hey, do atheists go to hell? No. How about people who say they are not religious, but they are spiritual? Straight to hell. To the boiler room of hell. All the way down. Good. Good. That makes me happy. Sometimes I pull them out just so they think everything is going to be okay, but then I put them right back in. Um, God, will Taylor Swift and Katy Perry ever reconcile their differences? What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking for the gay guy who can answer that one. You speak with a British accent. Yes, I'm aware. Well, I've often been told that I have a British accent. Oh? I apologize, but I can't hear it. That's odd, because everybody else does. Have you spent much time in Britain, then? No, I haven't. Excuse me? I said no! Really? Everyone hears this? The point is, Stewie has a British accent. That's like a known thing. Ask anyone. It sounds like it's very important what other people think of you. Oh, is, is that what it sounds like? To me, it does, yes. To you, it does. I see, I see. When is Brian coming back? Oh, never. I'm having him euthanized. Euthanized? Oh, my God! Come on, come on! Euthanize, euthanize, euthanize. Oh, my God! I gotta do something! Damn it! Now I have to do that with every dictionary here! Hold on, Brian! Hold on! The point of the story is I know what it's like to feel alone and to have to pretend that you're something you're not. And I don't pretend I'm something I'm not! I never said that. You just said it! I might have implied it. Maybe I'm worried nobody's going to like me. Look, I'm different, Dr. Pritchfield. I'm not like the other kids. Have you ever thought of just being yourself? Your real self? And then see what happens? Everything about me is this carefully constructed persona designed to keep people at arm's length. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. This is hopeless. There's no way to guess what their target is. Final boarding call for the Are We Ready to Attack? We Are, and Many People Will Die booze cruise. Okay. 
I got a feeling about that one. Guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only <laughs> way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it. You wanted to ride the jet I ski. I wanted to ride the jet ski. Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, he was pooting us on, huh? Chevy, right? That, that would have passed for funny in one of your movies, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, the hell with you, I'll use the other bathroom. Somebody's in here. Oh, excuse me. Good morning. Lois, since when does an elephant live here? He's an exchange student, don't you remember? Don't you feel foolish? Well, how long does it usually take you? I don't remember. Oh my god, that is such a bunch of crap. I... <laughs> Joe, I need to use your bathroom. Sure, Peter. What? What? It, I, I don't... It, uh, where, how do I... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be way too complicated for you. <laughs> Cleveland's old house. Perfect! Damn, no toilet paper. <laughs> hey, Joe, can I borrow this? Sure. Nah. Let's talk about... <clears throat> Stewie, can you hand me my heart medication, please? Except there's one person that does know the real me. Mm, yeah, listen, you're not gonna like this. You were super helpful, and this, this kind of seems like a crummy way to repay you, but I'm not going to get it. I guess that's what happens in therapy, though. No, it's not. Ah, you're right, that didn't make much sense indication how much longer you're going to linger? You're still pretty chatty, is, is why I'm wondering. Don't do this, Stewie. It will stay with you forever. It's kind of no bigs. Barbara! Barbara! Oh, didn't you hear her go to lunch? So, this is how you leave me. Sorry. I feel less bad. Leave a massage. That one can't be right. It's Michael. I want a divorce. This is not your day. What are you doing to Dad? What? I'm going to the grocery store. Don't forget the cucumbers, Peter. All right, where's that? Oh, hey, you're right, because of that thing we started doing. I felt dirty for an hour, but it's gone now. Now I just can't wait for night. Yeah, I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird, but strong. Like Danny Trejo. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. A loaf of milk, a container of bread, and a Joe Dirt DVD. Joe Dirt DVD, Scarlett Johansson, and treasure from a fish tank. No, not you! Oh, sorry. In fact, everyone but you! Hi, everyone but him! Hi! So what are you kids doing in school? I got in trouble for saying something insensitive to trans kids. A few of them started this acapella group, and they're all kind of chubby. So I said, you guys should call yourselves the trans fats. <laughs> Meg, you'll sit next to me this evening. But, Dad! I'm sorry, Chris, you've fallen out of favor. Perhaps forever. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! He's the only waiter we have! Lois! Our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. I'm finally ready to hear the specials. All right, here comes the fight. Get ready to eat it, Drago. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Those rusky bastards changed the movie so Drago wins. This aggression will not stand. I'm writing Vladimir Putin an angry email. Dear Vladimir, hope this email finds you well. I'll get right to the point. My friends and I were aghast when we saw what you did to the end of Rocky IV. Everyone knows that any American can beat up any Russian on any day of the week. Chris continues to hit the books as best he can, and his grades have shown some improvement. Stewie is growing like a weed, and Meg has become a woman in front of our very eyes. And send. I think we lost a little steam there at the end.